What's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML Sports Take. I am here at Rosie's Corner. The place looks amazing. Again, you come in for that dine-in experience. You've got the brand new chairs, the new flooring. Everything is looking super, super great here at Rosie's Corner. And hey, today is Fish Friday, so stop in, <clears throat> get your sandwich or entree version with your coleslaw, mac and cheese, or french fries. Or remember, try the meatball bomber, try the stuffed shells, try the pizza wing combinations. All the salads, all the drinks, all the desserts, ready to roll. And with those hot and cold subs, you can uh, pair it with some chips. You can get one of their famous Rosie's pickles here as well. So make sure <clears throat> you stop down to Rosie's Corner today. Joe Girardi is fired as Philly's manager, and I think this is an absolute crime. Um, I never thought that he should have been canned by the Yankees. Um, I think Joe Girardi is a great manager. He's a, he's a World Series champ in 2009 with the Yankees. And I know people say, well, it's easy to, <clears throat> you know, to, to, to win a World Series in New York when you go spend $435 million on Sabathia and Burnett and uh, Mark Teixeira, plus you have A-Rod, and you have Matsui, and you have Jeter, and you have Volota Bullpen, and with Mariano Rivera. Um, you know, you had young guys kind of, they caught lightning in a bottle there with Phil Hughes in the bullpen that year, Jabba, et cetera. They had Damaso Marte on the team, David Robertson. I mean, the 2009 Yankees, Johnny Damon, they were absolutely loaded. Uh, but again, it takes a special cat to manage in New York. Similarly, in Philadelphia, because that is a fishbowl upon fishbowl. Uh, times 10 uh, in Philadelphia. And, and I got to say, when they brought Joe Girardi in, they wanted him to basically change some of the culture, add in a little bit of that, you know, habitual work ethic type of a thing, some of the old school baseball principles, and manage a bullpen. But the bullpen was put together by other people. I'm looking at you, Dave Dombrowski, the guy who in Detroit, you didn't learn the first time. The whole reason why the Tigers never won a World Series when Dave Dombrowski was the GM of that team, they had Scherzer, they had Verlander, <clears throat> they had multiple unbelievable offensive players, they had you know, Miggy Cabrera for years. The bullpen was horrible. The bullpen was always bad in Detroit, and it held them back from winning a championship. And now we fast forward to 2022. Guess who the president of baseball operations is for your Philadelphia Phillies, Dave Dombrowski, the owner and CEO is John Middleton. Those two guys put the team together. The last few years, they've spent piles and piles of money. They went out and got Bryce Harper. They went out and got JT Rel Muto. They went out and got Andrew McCutcheon. Um, again, this is the, the past few years. I know that the Kutch is on the Brewers now, but the Phillies went out and got, they paid for, Zip for Zach Wheeler. Um, you know, they've gone out and given money to people. Uh, they've, they've, they've dipped into free agency in, in a huge way, and they have nothing to show for it. Absolutely nothing to show for it. I don't even know if this team is a playoff team this year in the 10th place Rob Manfred playoff bracket. I'm not even sure they can even get in. Uh, there's several games below 500 and all the rest, but I don't think that Joe Girardi deserved to get fired. I'm looking at Dave Dombrowski. I'm looking at John Middleton as the two guys up above him who are making bad moves. John Middleton allowed Dave Dombrowski to come in and run it his way. Dombrowski is a polished, experienced, good GM. He's not a great GM. He's not an elite GM. And he certainly is a moron to a certain extent on the other side if he had the team in Detroit and never realized that he needed a bullpen with it. So this is a horrible firing. Dave Dombrowski is uh, uh, responsible for the roster buildup. Again, the manager, it's weird because baseball compared to the other pro sports, I don't think the manager matters as much. I don't think it matters as much, especially in the NFL for a head coach. I don't think it matters as much even in the NHL just with the gelling and the line changes and, uh, you know, the daily grind of that sport and the physicality and, uh, you know, just – and in baseball is a grind too at 162 games. But hockey's kind of a different animal. you got to have that right guy right in the hockey uh, locker room. It's a tight-knit bond, right? Hockey guys are, are, are just super close to each other. And if one little thing, you know, get, gets thrown off, um, it could change a line. It could change chemistry. It could change a lot of things. So I think it's a little bit more in hockey. I think it's probably more in basketball as well. 
uh, just from the standpoint of like I look at a Steve Kerr with Golden State, I look at you know Greg Popovich with the Spurs, those kind of guys are championship coaches, but they also understand certain things inside the game that really helps. Baseball managers, I think they're important. They fill out the lineup. Um, you know, you, you, you want to have the guy kind of have the balance between, you know, uh, uh, being kind of a, a czar out there and, and, and dictating a lot of things and making sure you're working hard and making sure you're following baseball fundamentals and all the rest and principles and hustling, which Girardi's a big proponent of. But then on the other side of it, uh, with, with, with managing is, you know, you, you, you don't, you're not making the ultimate difference. You're not, I mean, like I think Bill Belichick, head coaches in the NFL, I think make a major difference. That's why when you see an owner get it right and hire the GM and the head coach, everything kind of falls into place. Look at the Buffalo Bills. They couldn't find a quarterback until Josh Allen. Well, they hired Sean McDermott, kind of a reverse job that I just talked about as head coach. Then they bring in Brandon Bean right away as GM and they get rid of everybody from the previous draft and all the rest. Uh, Doug Whaley and company, the scouting directors, Jim Monas, all those guys. And now look at what the Bills have. They have Josh Allen. So now they have the GM, the head coach, and the quarterback. You need those three things. If you don't have the head coach sometimes in football, it might not work out. Example A, Joe Montana in San Francisco. Bill Walsh always said he made the West Coast offense. Some people say, oh, he's a system quarterback. That's bullshit. Um, well, guess what? If Bill Walsh doesn't implement the West Coast offense and they don't have that kind of relationship, do they win You know, all those Super Bowls in the 80s? I don't know. The manager, slightly important. Certainly in-game stuff is big, pressing the right buttons, you know, managing the bullpen and all the rest, having a little bit of discipline, but yet letting guys, you know, kind of be loose and, and, and um, you know, live their lives and, and, and enjoy the game. I just think it's a nice mix. You got to have that balance. But I got to tell you, overall, overall, I don't think the manager is as big a deal as the other pro sports. And certainly with Dave Dombrowski and John Middleton, basically walking into a wall every day as baseball people. Uh, this is on them. The Phillies mess is on John Middleton. It's on Dave Dombrowski. It isn't on Joe Girardi, and he is getting a raw deal. ML Sports Take, Fish Friday, Rosie's Corner. Get on down here. Coleslaw, fries, and mac and cheese. Pizza wing combinations galore. Try the hot and cold subs and meatball bomber. Try the stuffed shells. And I'll tell you what, with those chicken wings, make sure you try the garlic parm and the gold fever. I am absolutely starving just saying those words so come on down here to rosie's corner again pizza pasta hot and cold subs wings you name it and of course all the drinks the salads the desserts and the chips ready to go here as well try those pickles they're pretty darn good here at rosie's corner download the slice app and you can order right from there uh, as well thanks for watching please like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit me on twitter at mike l sports as i always tell you enjoy the games